to our second video on the building and creating a Ruby gem series. Uh, in this video, we're going to finish fleshing out the gem spec for our for our Ruby gem nerd dice. In the end of the last um, code cast, we pushed a an initial commit of the gem, but it still wasn't able to. Uh, to run yet because we had some to-do items in our gem spec. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've got my unlicensed in the gem spec. So we're going to go to our our gem spec and we are going to change license equals MIT to licenses equals, we'll put an array here, get rid of the white space, there. So now we've got multiple licenses, we've got our name from the, the generator authors it's just me for right now and then our summary and our description so we'll uh, we'll pause and write a description so in the ruby gem specification here it uses this uh, this format if you've got more than one line here i'm going to follow that in my uh, my own gem spec So here's the example in the Ruby Gems specification. So it does not have the the dot git there. So we'll go back and we'll keep that. that there. There are a couple other metadata items that we want here. So our, our issues URL is going to be issues. Back and make sure that we've got the standard key I'm just going to get all of these and see which ones we want to include. So change log got already. Documentation is going to go to our readme. Make sure I'm case sensitive here. Home page is going to be, it's already there. Mailing list URI.
source code URI. We don't have a mailing list or a wiki yet. So all right, so we're gonna go in and also change this to bin and save. And then we will go back to our terminal and see if we have enough yet to if we have a valid gem spec or not. So we've got a valid gem spec. Let's see if we can run bin console. All right, so we've got now a, a workable item here. We also need a, um, a change log file before we commit. So in our top level directory, that right now we don't have any code so the change log is going to be empty but we want to have it there and then we've got our our readme, which we'll modify once we have a little bit more stuff developed. But the other thing I'm gonna do is see if I can exit out of here. See what happens here. So we've got a failing test. Our spec will generate with a Uh, with a failing test so that you've got to go in and fix it, but we are able to at least do a test execution, which is good enough for now. So we will um, call um, call this a success and we'll take a look at our, our status. We'll add our working directory and then we will commit. So here's our commit message. We'll pause again to sign it. So we've got our commit here. We will take a look at the log. It has what we need here. Push it, push it real good. All right, we've got our, our repo here. So we've got our, our branch here and we've got our list of commits and we'll pick up in our next item and actually start developing the code for our gem. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.